pink sauce. The crazy new sauce roaming around on TikTok because it's concerning. It is crazy bad from the way that it's made to the shipping to getting the serving size wrong. I don't mean to hate or anything, but this sauce should not be consumed. A lot of things are wrong here, so let's take a look at this product. So, first of all, it is made with milk and being shipped on the hottest summer day. That shit will kill somebody and in fact could get a consumer botulism. Botulism is a rare disease that can attack the body nerves and causes difficulty of breathing, body paralysis, and death, which is crazy. Fun fact, a food safety expert said not to eat the pink sauce. This is like the, um, the fucking, the, the Tide Pod Challenge, which if you are unaware of what the Tide Pod Challenge is, it's a lame TikTok challenge that made the person who will be dared to eat a Tide Pod, which is very dangerous on severe levels which when inhaling or digesting the Tide Pods, it can cause possible loss of consciousness, a change in heart rate and blood pressure, and seizures even. If you don't know what a Tide Pod is, a Tide Pod is a laundry pack meant to clean laundry. The pink sauce is the Tide Pod challenge, but worse. Great job, pepto Bismol sauce. Fucking alien blood clown. Or alien clown. I, I fucked my own joke up. <laughs> Fucking Danganronpa blood. When the pink sauce gets to you, that sauce is most likely spoiled due to the fact that there's milk in the product, like I've stated previously. Also, the way that they've packaged the sauce itself is horrible. Do they even have a business license? If so, they have a lot of possible legal trouble on their hands. It's because they're breaking a few cottage food laws. I definitely don't think that the health department approved of this. Also, the person behind this, Chef.P, that's their TikTok username, did say something to address this, and it's pretty bad. Here look also before we continue with this video just to let you know that um this is the first time i'm doing this type of video and i really do enjoy making the video on its own so expect some wonkiness apologies in advance all right y'all time to acknowledge the elephant in the room so i want to start off by saying number one my apologies my apologies my apologies i'm only human I'm not perfect. <sighs> okay, so first of all, you don't need to say, I apologize so many goddamn times. Secondly, ah, the good old, we're not perfect excuse. Just great. I can tell that you're not perfect from this video in general. And the sauce that you made. What else could you do? Another thing, we have a team. Things happen. The grams got mixed up with the serving size. There's 444 grams of pink sauce inside of each container. It's about 30 servings per container. It was a mistake. We fixed the issue. You guys will not be receiving pink sauce bottles with the bad label. So if you don't know what she is talking about, she is talking about the error with the serving size of grams. The serving size is supposed to say 444 grams inside the pink sauce, but was wrong with the label. And it's supposed to also say 30 servings of pink sauce. To my, it's a major error, but it's okay, that's fine. You fix the issue, it's fine. So it's pretty much just a label issue. So the issue was that the grams, or at least if I remember correctly, the grams said around 30 servings of pink sauce but or yeah inside of it and servings of 444 which were incorrect so yeah that error is fixed now in the pink sauce so there's some insight on that we are replacing all of the labels we also are sending you guys a gift and a thank you note and this is a small business, y'all. This is a small business that is just moving really, really fast. We are working to try to get the price mark down on the pink sauce. I want to also say I... I may or may not have let that continue too long, but I'm going to continue on what I was going to say before, you know, I ruined it. Also, I'd like to mention the fact that it's 20 goddamn dollars. Holy shit. I've seen gas prices, but this... Yikes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just because you're a small business doesn't exclude the... Exclude... Exclude the fact... Or excuse the fact... 
not I can't speak today, that it will make people cons wait, who consume it sick. Like I said, it can give you botulism, which there is no excuse for whatsoever, even if you look down the Billy Mitchell and whoever else excuse book. I want to also say I appreciate y'all for supporting me, for spending $20 per sauce to help us to produce it because the ingredients are not cheap. Um, yes, we are following FDA standards. However, we are currently in lab testing. We are in lab testing. She says, and I quote, we are following safety standards. However, we are in lab testing. Is this girl serious? That's the funniest shit I've seen all week. She can't be serious about this. No, I do not believe it. That shit will get declined in seconds as a safety hazard to anybody unless if it's refrigerated, which most likely will last about an hour. Again, she can't be serious. Also, the fact that it comes in this shitty packaging, it, it doesn't come in a box. It comes, right, there's no bubble wrap around it. It's just like one of these post office small Amazon packages. I forget what they're called. And it most likely exploded when traveling to you. You... It, 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 what? It, it, like, my mind is blown when listening to this. Like, uh, like, again, no hate on this person whatsoever. Nobody send her hate, but... but Jesus Christ. What's going on? What's going to go on with a legal team? How is she going to solve this? Once she makes it past the health department, your health and safety department, she... Uh, they're probably gonna sue her, or somebody's gonna probably sue her, because people are getting or have the possibility of getting botulism. Now I'm not super into, well, I am into the law, but like I don't know much about the law. I'm, I'm only in high school. Give me a break. But, anyways, yeah. Um, currently. So once we go through lab testing. We will be able to pitch to stores to put the pink sauce in stores, and we're so excited about that. Um, but yeah, going every day, I'm listening to y'all. So, the video just says that I appreciate y'all for 20 seconds, I think 10, 20, 30 seconds. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for helping us out, and I appreciate y'all whatsoever but before you finish that shit it's not going in stores again it's most likely going to get declined and you will be to blame and sued for possibly a high price maybe a, in the millions of dollar range million dollar range that's the way she ends it with the um well that's not how she ends it where i showed the clip but i cut her off there because uh it just says or she just says I appreciate you guys for a few seconds, like I said. But that's the way she ends it. But still, what the fuck? <laughs> also, she never mentions the taste, and what most people say it tastes like online is that it tastes like ranch. Anyways, that's about it. This is the, this is also my first commentary video. I hope you guys like it. I enjoyed making the video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.